So you want to make a data pack. In that case, few no more, because I'm finally starting this tutorial series. After, like, announcing it half a year ago. Anyways, this tutorial is meant to give you a quick overview, so you can simply begin making your own data pack. Let's start by creating a new folder called Tutorial. Inside this folder, you want to create a data folder and a descriptive file called pack.mcmeta. This file is coded in a JSON format. Those basically consist of either lists or objects. At the moment though, that doesn't matter for you, because all you want to do at this point is setting your data pack description and the format of your data pack. The format is the version of your data pack. For 1.18 there would be 8, for 1.17 7, and for 1.16 6 and so on. But let's set it to 8 again. It's also worth noting that you can place a PNG file here, which is the cover of your data pack. Simply call it pack.png and it will appear in the GUI that way. Alright, so in the data folder we create two more folders. One is called Minecraft and the other one is up to you. It's important though because that's the name you access all your custom stuff with in the end. Let's call it tutorial for now. Basically, the Minecraft folder is for modifying existing things and your namespace is where all the custom stuff is. Personally, I never really use the Minecraft one. Okay, so what you're probably most interested in is how you can write your own functions. For that, head over to your namespace and create a folder called functions. For now, we'll create two functions here. load.mc function and tick.mc function. Everything in load.mc function will be executed once you install the data pack or if you type reload in game. So this is the place where we can initialize stuff and maybe drop a welcome message or something. Tick.mc function on the other hand gets executed 20 times a second, so this is where you write most of your code in. Alright, so now that we set up our functions we need to tell Minecraft that they are there. To do that simply go into the Minecraft folder and add a text folder and inside a functions folder. Now we'll create two files. One is called load.json and the other one is called tick.json. Inside them you'll see some JSON code again. But it's really simple here. Simply define the key values to be a list of your load functions. In that case we want to run only the load function we created earlier. So type in your namespace and the name of your function. For the tick function we do exactly the same but for the tick function we created of course. Okay, so that's the basic setup process. So let's test if it works. Inside the load function I'll type in a simple welcome message and the tick function will simply give me a speed boost constantly. And as you can see in game, if I type in reload, we'll see the welcome message and the tick function seems to work too. Now you are ready to make your own data pack. Of course there is a lot more you can do than just functions. Though most of them require larger JSON files and honestly there are a lot of good generators online for those. For a full list of things you can do, visit the Minecraft wiki page. That brings me to the end of this video. So if this video was helpful for you, leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one and bye!